Hey guys, it's Megan from Transcend Your Reality. I am back with another video. If you guys are interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, check out the description and the link below. Again, I'm not new to manifesting. I've been um, a successful manifest manifestation coach, I can talk so well, for the last um, five years, five or six years. So anyway, you guys, let's talk about, are you taking your cues from the 3D, okay? I see a lot of people say that they know they create their reality, but they're constantly reacting to what they see in their circumstances in the reality. And then they're taking the cues from that. So they're allowing people to tell them who they are. So are you one of those people that you're allowing people to tell you who you are? Do you think that you can't transcend passes? Do you think that your circumstances cannot be changed? Okay. And it's okay, like be honest, like let's truly be transparent with ourselves and be honest with what we think is going on, okay? Because the only way you're truly going to be able to change your reality and manifest what you want is by being completely honest with yourself and lack of judgment of yourself, okay? So if you are, and I know I've fallen into that, so you know what I mean? Like we are human beings and we didn't learn about this until whatever time you learned in your life, and then you put it into practice. But we really wanna start being um, doers of this word of the law okay not just hearers so a lot of people feel like they understand this on this intellectual level but they're not really practicing it so what I've noticed in helping lots of people is and again this can be an assumption um, but my assumption is watching people you know take things if they don't have a lot of resistance against things they can manifest pretty quickly things that they don't really care about. But things that they do have more resistance, it can take a little bit more time because of the programmings that we have going on in our mind. And again, you've heard me um, say in videos that it's zero to seven is when we start becoming who we are, okay? It's shaping us. Our minds are sponges. We hear everything everybody tells us or says to us and we perceive it a certain way and then we make that a truth about ourselves. And then we manifest it out, manifest it out. So this can start at a very early age and we react to it and we think that's who we are so like i said if you think about that we're starting this at a very early age and then we think this is our identity okay and then we're taking the cues from other people well they said this about me they said that i'm too much that i'm intense okay that's something people said to me one time <laughs> okay so that's why i use that but i've heard other people say um the same thing or be quiet or you know you're just um you're too bubbly or whatever is coming back in your reality and then you think you need to change it about yourself and then it makes you feel not good enough and we're taking those cues from other people and then in your mind at least in my mind i was going back into thinking yeah i guess it could be right maybe i did that you know and having this argument and, and justification for why i was acting a certain way okay forgetting and this is what we can do is reminding ourselves that everybody's just a mirror to us, okay? So it can be based on our self-concept about ourselves. It can also be our assumptions about other people, but it's still coming from like our conception of what we think we are, what we've been told. So in, in that scenario, it can be a lot of things playing out um, if we're taking those cues from people in our reality, we, it can be a self-fulfilling prophecy. We can say, oh, see, people always say this about me. I need to fix myself. I need to change. And it takes us on that cycle over and over again. But really, you're whole and complete how you are. So you don't need to change anything about yourself. The only thing you need to change is self-acceptance. Okay, accepting yourself. So in that instance, if someone's calling me too intense or too much, you know, realizing, okay, wait a second, there's me pushed out. So they're mirroring some insecurity I might have about myself or about them. So therefore, let me turn this into a good thing instead of thinking, oh my gosh, I need to like take this cue from the 3D and fix myself. And maybe I need to go to therapy or, you know, maybe this is why my relationships don't work out. Or maybe this is why the things manifest. That's where our brain's going to go because, you know, you have one thought and then, you know, in your brain, it's going to have that neural pathway that goes to another one, goes to another one, goes to another one. So what we really want to do instead of fixing ourselves and taking the cues from a 3D is go within and accept ourselves. So in that example, saying, you know what? Everybody actually likes that about me. Actually, everybody tells me that all the time. Instead of dimming your shine down, dimming who you are, thinking you need to fix and taking the cues from a 3D, what I'm challenging you guys to do is accepting anything that you think is your flaw and noticing where you feel like you need to change that. And instead, go within and imagine your ideal, okay? So whatever that is, if, if someone's telling you that you're too needy, 
you just turn that on his head and say, no, I'm not. I'm actually perfect how I am Ask and, and go to the ideal of what you want to create. Okay. Don't ever call yourself insecure. Don't ever call yourself needy and please stop trying to fix yourself and try to be somebody different and taking your cues from the 3d. The 3d is just old news, meaning it's just a manifestation of what you were thinking and believing to be true. And again, as I said earlier in this video, this could really come, well, not really, it does come from our childhood and things that are told to us. And I'm not saying anything, maybe even bad happened to you. It could just be like, hey, you're the oldest sibling and new siblings are born. And all of a sudden you don't feel like seen anymore or heard. And then you feel unimportant and then it becomes this self-fulfilling prophecy and this new, this identity that you keep creating over and over again, it's manifest in your reality. So working with me, we're gonna to get to the bottom of those assumptions. And you can look at your assumptions too and change it in your own reality as well, if you're able to really be aware of what's happening and what you're saying. And the, the point of the video though, is for you to stop if you can, and not even beat yourself up if you're reacting. It's it's your definition of reaction. But what I'm saying when you're reacting is, I guess the better word to choose, are you taking your cues and are you believing that to be true for you? Okay, that's a really better way to say that. So are you saying, if someone says something to you in your reality that you don't like, so if it's a specific person, let's say, and they're saying to you, are you making that true for yourself? Are you taking that cues? Are you then thinking that you need to fix yourself and that you're not good enough? Okay. And if so, I want you to stop doing that. Start being aware of when that comes up and start going within and telling yourself that you, you know, are accepting yourself of who you are and imagine your ideal for what you want. Okay. Because nothing is set in stone at all. Okay. You are the creator of your reality and you get to choose every moment. It doesn't have to be a really arduous, you know, process if you don't want it to be either you know you could just make the decision right now i'm going to be a different person and it changes for everybody you know it really does and that's what i'm here for and there is it's just going to be you know the matter of time that you saturate with your mind with this and start choosing different thoughts and that time is different for everybody but again the point is i want to come across is are you taking your cues from the 3d are you believing what people say to be true about you? Okay, in, in some areas, that's great, right? I'm sure there's wonderful things going for you guys in some areas, so we're not looking, we're, we're gonna be grateful for that, okay? But I'm talking, because you're creating that too. Let's remind yourself, those good things that's happening in your life, you're also the conscious creator of that. You're also creating that. But I'm talking about the areas in your life that there's something that you feel upset about. If someone's saying something to you that's, you know, making you feel upset, remind yourself your feelings are not your identity either. It's just, it's going to be a clue to where your mind is and what your thoughts have been and what you've been identifying with. So you can change that any, you know, you can change that and work through that because nothing is wrong with you. So let's, you know, let's have a challenge and everybody comment in the uh, link below here in, in the description below. Let's have a challenge here, you guys, of let's like just go for like a 48 hour challenge where we stop taking our cues from the 3D. Okay, so let's this already put there in the um, description there, or description, I'm sorry, uh, in below here, in the comments below, I want you guys to comment, I will not take my cues from the 3D any longer, okay? The 3D does not control me. Okay, that's what we really want to get through our mind. And I want you guys to have a 48 challenge of that 48 hour challenge of you noticing when you are taking your cues from the 3D and, and thinking that it's true. Okay, and I want you guys to try your best to stop taking that as what you think reality is. Stop thinking what people are telling you is who you are if you don't like it. Okay, remind yourself that you are the conscious creator of your reality and you do not need to get in this perpetuous cycle of, you know, somebody says something, you react, and then you want to fix it. And then you react again, because somebody says something, and then you think you're bad and it takes you down this whole self, this whole cycle. We've all been there, right? We want to stop that cycle. And that's what we can do is remind ourselves we're creating our reality. We're not taking our cues from the 3D. We can go within and decide a new narrative anytime we want. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in the video. Um, if you could want to work together, definitely email me. All right. And I appreciate you guys and definitely comment that in the link below. And let's do this 48 challenge together, you guys. I'll do it with you. All right. I'm always willing to level it up. This is how I live my life. And I want you guys to start trying to live your life the same way so you can manifest whatever you want in your reality because you truly can have it all. All right, guys. Thanks so much.